Hello guys, how's everyone doing today? <clears throat> I hope everyone is having an amazing day. And if you haven't already, let's give the Lord some praise for allowing us to see another day. So guys, you know whatever this is going on, they uh, want us to wear a face mask. I figured out a way. I was looking, you know, at different videos and they was all saying, I know so much. But come to find out, you did have to use a needle and thread. So I said, hmm, I wonder if you can really make this a no-so mask. So I put my thinking cap on, and sure enough, you can make a no-so mask. So this is some of the ones that I did. I did this one right here. I did this one. And I also did this one, which you can reverse it to that side, okay? And yes, you can make a no-sew mask. So, I got the pattern. Uh, I got the materials that I want. You're also going to need a lasket, which I cut this in half because it's too thick. I used all my thin ones. I got some hem, in, you know, uh, you put this on where you want to hem at. And you use the urn to uh, just melt it and hem it. So, yes, you can make a no sew mask. So, right here is the pattern. And we're going to make a no sew mask. Of course, you're going to need scissors to cut your pattern out. So since I went ahead and I did all of that already, we're not going to use that. And we're going to have that. But you just take your pieces um, and you have to do them one by one. You're going to put the uh, stitch stuff right here. Just like if you were to sew it. A little right here to give you that part. I don't think I can see them. We're going to put the hem stuff right here, a little right here, and then on this corner. So, this is the way we're going to put the hem stuff. At first, this is the first thing we're going to do. We're going to put it right there, there, and there. And so, um, you're going to do that on both pieces. Again, right there, there, and there. On the bottom half. Just say, on the bottom half. Okay? And then you sew that. And then the next part you're going to do is you're going to fold them out like this. They're going to be, um, to get, hold on, let me uh, do this right quick. Okay, guys, if you can see the placement, and you probably can't because it's white, I cut little strips and I put one right there, one in the middle, and one on the side that I told you. So we're going to fold that like that, get it where it's supposed to be. You might have to rearrange these. You might have to rearrange them once you fold your mask back together. But you want it on the bottom part of it, okay? You might have to rearrange it a little bit. Okay, so we're going to iron that. And don't worry if you get it off a little. Cause when you get the mask together, you can trim it where you got it off. Okay, so when you do that, you're going to come out with this part. But you don't, you got to... Um, Pull it out, you know, to where it's laid like that. So don't put too much on it because you want it to fit like that. And so you do the other one the same way. So let me cut the strips and then I'll come back and show you. Again, guys, I just laid it where it's supposed to be. Where the two pointy sides at, I laid it right there. The Where it folds together. And then... On the other side right here. 
So the pointy side, the middle, and the other side right here. And we're going to fold it. And make sure you fold it in. It might come out, but just stick it right on back up in there and get it in the place you need it to be. Okay? So let's go ahead and iron this. One. And you can get this hem stuff. Um, I had mine, um, but I got it at Walmart. Because I used to hem my uh, grandson's uh, pants when they was too long. So I already had some. And if you don't get enough, don't, don't, don't worry. Just cut you another little piece. And put it where it didn't go, okay? Just cut another little piece and put it where it's supposed to be. Which is some still on there. I just didn't put the iron on there long enough. So we're going to put that back down. And we're going to iron that. Okay. Just like that. If you have some sticking off, just cut it off. And don't throw it away. Because you can use those little pieces for the rest of the mask. Then, after you get froze, uh, both pieces... Pull it out some. Pull it out. And then we're going to put both of them like this. We're going to put them back to back like that. And then the next thing we're going to do, don't worry, it'll fit. You might have to pull it a little bit. But when you get done, it's all going to be together. And then the next thing we're going to do is... Do these together, put some right there, some right on the other side, and down the bottom. We don't need to put none in the middle because the middle is already done. So again, put some along the pointy part and down the sides and along the bottom. Don't take it all the way to the edge. Leave a little bit where you can put your, uh, because you're going to have to put your bands in there. So leave a little bit where you can put your uh, your bands in there, your elastic. So again, across the top to, to the nose part on this side, on the other side down and around, and across the bottom. But leave about, uh, let's see. You know, leave about this much opening on the edges, on each edge. Leave a little bit open because you're going to have to put your elastic in there, okay? So let's do that part. I'm <laughs> sorry, I just got the, uh, I forgot what I was doing. But anyway, I put it along the side, the top where I told y'all. And along the bottoms, and I put my elastic in there. So when you put your elastic in there, like I told you to leave some open, just put your elastic in there, and then lay some on the top, lay some on the bottom. Again, lay some on the top, lay some on the bottom, and iron that. Same, do it on both sides. Lay some on the top, lay some on the bottom, and iron it. Let it sit for a while because you don't want you to pull your uh, your ear things out. You don't want them to come out. So after you get it together, if you if like the nose part up here, if it's still not together, you just take it where it's open at, put a little piece down in there, and earn that. And then you might have to do the trimming. If you don't want that pointy part up there, just trim that off. Go ahead and sew it. And you're going to have a mask like this, guys. All without sewing. So, yeah, I figured it out. You're going to do it all without sewing. Go to Walmart. It's called Hem Stitch. Get you some Hem Stitch and some Alaska. And the uh fabric of your choice um 
go find the duckbill mask pattern. Or you don't even have to have a pattern. You see how it's shaped. Cut it out like this. If you don't want to go find the pattern, um, just type in duckbill. It's all on uh, YouTube. Go print out the pattern if you need the pattern. If not, just use uh, this kind of shape for your mask. And then just sew it and you will have your mask. So as I stated, I did many, many, <laughs> many um, patterns from different fabric, all from a no sew. And if you get, let me tell you something where I ran into. If you, you earn it too much on the bottom part right here, don't worry. You can always trim that off, even in the inside too. If you get too much, you can always trim it off. You might have to do a little trimming, but you will. the mask won't be affected if you uh, cut it big enough. When you put it on, you can trim it down a size because I ran into that a, a little bit with this one. And a little bit with this one. I had to trim. I put two, two. So I know when I did this one that I had to scoot the, um, scoot the, um, the hem stitch, make it little. So I cut it in half. So I won't have all that, uh, the, you know, the width of it. Cause it's, it's pretty big. So if you cut it in half for the bottom part of it, you won't have too much to trim. So cut strips. I figured that out on all of them. Cut it in half because you it, it'll make it so much better. And I went through trial and error for these other ones. But when I got to show y'all, I knew that I had a, a cut strips. So, yeah. But, guys, all of them will work. I'll take a picture with the mask on and put it at the end of this video to show y'all. Or I might use it as my thumbnail to show y'all the no so. The no so mask. So I hope everyone has an amazing day. I just wanted to show y'all that because um, I can sew and I got, uh, um, you know, I can sew with the needle, but I got tired of doing that. I made the other kind too. I made the, not the duck bill, but the other kind. Um, and I just got tired and I got a sewing machine, guys, but guess what? I don't know how to sew. So I'm looking into videos to teach me. Uh, you know, the parts of, about the sewing machine, because I'm a fast learner, but uh, I just wanted to show those that don't feel like showing that you can make a mask without the needle and thread. It can be done with the hem stitch from Walmart. I already had mine. Some elastic I earned, and the pattern scissors and make you a mask so i'm getting ready to get up my phone out of here but before i do hey if you haven't already hit that subscribe button please become part of my family because that's what i call everybody that joins my channel is my family um and while you're right there go ahead and hit that notification bell uh go back and watch some of my videos uh i do hauls diys um inspirational talks about God because we all need him right now uh, in idolatry halls, CVS hall, Walgreens hall, family dollar halls, couponing halls, all of those are couponing halls, uh, Dollar Tree, couponing hall, Dollar Tree DIYs, just a, a little bit of everything. So um, yeah, come on and join my channel and I'm getting ready to get out of here. But before I do, everybody keep praying. Pray that God will heal the land. That he removes all this stuff that whatever it is going on. That those that don't got it, don't get it. And those that do, that he will heal them. And that he will, uh, you know, heal the land. And those that don't know him, come to him. And those that had know him and have strayed, return to him, you know. But I'm, 
I hope everyone has a blessed morning, night, and evening, whatever it may be when you see this video. I hope you have a blessed one. And until next time, everybody be blessed.